Big air. Go, go, go. Fantastic. See where you were at? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I mean, we started not with this box, but we started with a 20 inch box with three plates on it. All right. Just four or five days. All right. And my name is Peter Glatz. I'm a dentist uh, working three days a week, semi retired. I love music. I play in a band and uh, I have a school bus that I've converted into a traveling gypsy wagon. I bought Bertha about four years ago from a school district. Took out all the seats and then spent the winter building the kitchen and uh, the cabinets and the beds. And uh, I take it around to music festivals. We camp in it. Uh, I travel with a group of people and we can, we've had as many as 10 people sleeping out here. We like to go to festivals and cook a lot of food for everybody. Just kind of have a rolling party. Um, I also enjoy getting permission from chefs of uh, famous restaurants to come and spend a couple days working in their kitchen just for the experience and excitement. So food and music are the two things that uh, I enjoy doing. He's in day 10 today or 9, but I said you got to go all the way on this. And th th this is a major deal. Now, you know his wife was a connoisseur, all right? And so he had a difficult time, so not, not, <laughs> he's no better, okay? So he's given, he's given up sugar, he's given up dairy, he's given up grain, and then I didn't want to approach it until, the, until, until he got through that, and, and, and he, he, he's, he doesn't overdrink, you know, he's a social drinker and a good timer, but, he quit that too, at least for 90 days, okay? Major deal. You forgot the sex and cigarettes. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, sex is exercise. <laughs> That's major. That's major. So, no sugar, though. Okay. Thank you. That's huge. Wow. What that did was huge. Got everybody else, because we got a support group. And that's what it takes. It's a major deal. He was happy he did that. I asked him later on, I said, so how'd you feel? He says, great. I felt great. Three more. Hit the pole. Six. Come on, come on, come on. Hit the pole. Seven. One more. Go. You're a good man. My wife died in February, and uh, she was a food writer, and so she's spending eight hours a day sitting at this table with a laptop becoming very sedentary. So it was just, for the last four years, it's just kind of been a declining situation. Everywhere we go, I'd have to bring her a little electric scooter. It's just, it was just sad to, to see the decline. She, uh, I didn't sh sh share the same physical problems, but the pace of life just slowed down so much, you know. Um, any place we go, you know, you have to walk at a snail's pace, and uh, uh, I think it, uh, living with somebody who was, um, disabled, you know, slowed me down and uh, created, you know, I was, I was sort of becoming the same way. Uh, after she passed away, I'm, I'm trying to take this time that I have now and uh, turn, turn the situation around and become active. Seven. One more. Eight. Okay, get up. You graduated. We're going another one. I have high expectations for him. And that's what he needs, you know. I, I'm not going to feel sorry for him, even though he's been through hell and back. Uh, that's not going to do him any good. Uh, I'd rather give him new goals, new expectations, and, uh, and a new life. There you go. There you go. Keep breathing. There you go. There you go. Straighten those legs on. That's it. That's it. As soon as you hit your chest, return yeah. your hand. So I'm just really looking for um, uh, just a dramatic lifestyle change. Um, and when I first met him, he uh, you know, was saying to me that uh, you, know, you just don't want to spend the rest of your life the way you are, and you don't want to end up you know, in a wheelchair or a walker, and uh, you um, are in bad shape, but you, you, there's still time, there's still hope. and. Uh, you know, if I really make a commitment, uh, he can help turn my life around and I can have, uh, you know, many decades ahead of, um, you know, healthy, happy, energetic life uh, where I can, 
just continue doing the same thing I'm doing and you know get sore and stiffer and less active and less mobile and uh, I, um, you know, I, I, I want to live a full life. I want to do other things than you know sit in a chair so it's important to me. Uh, I go to my morning sessions uh, uh, with CrossFit and then uh, I usually get a text in the afternoon from Mike giving me a workout uh, program to use on my Aerodyne bike so, so I can breathe the fresh air and look out and see the birds and get, get real aerobicized. There you go, 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 all right, all right. When I first uh, first started, I uh, uh, this is like you know, ten days ago, I could not get up without you know putting my hands on my knees and pushing, and uh, um, you know so now I'm able to get up with my arms outstretched, you know, out of a really low box. So you know I've, I've made a lot of improvement in that period of time. I wasn't uh, very athletic when I was younger. Uh, about 30 years ago, uh, I started working out and uh, got really into doing triathlons, distance uh, cycling. Uh, I'd like to um, at least do one more triathlon before I die. You know, maybe not an Ironman length one, but uh, you know, maybe a 10k, you know, 45 mile bike and you know, half mile swim. If I can do that, I'll be real happy.